Hello everyone, I'm Jay and I just passed the IC Square CISSP exam two days ago. A number of people asked me how I did it. So this video, I'm going to explain how I did it. Uh, resources I used, my exam experience and my tips, right? So first things first, many people I, I, I come across, uh, they say they don't have experience um, or they don't have experience in certain domains. Um, so my background, I worked on, as an IT manager uh, um, for seven years, uh, just a few years ago, around four years ago, I left the job and I uh, set up my own business. My business was IT support for the last, well, for the first three years of the business. And from early last year, um, we sold IT support and focusing on cybersecurity, right? So I'm familiar with what's happening in the industry and uh, being CISSP, uh, the one of the gold standard certification in the security industry i thought it would be a nice challenge for me to go get it and good credentials as well so that's why i got uh, I, I went for it this is my second attempt i did try around may last year i failed uh, at the time i went for a boot camp i came close to passing um, but i did, didn't at the time i had 151 questions on my exam uh, but i failed anyway so this time what i did as it was 18 months ago so I, it was although i retained some knowledge it was completely new again i did try to do um straight after failing for the first time but i could i couldn't it was just yeah i had so many other things as i said i run a business i employ people and uh yeah i have a family it just yeah a <laughs> number of excuses right um, but anyway uh, when the lockdown happened this was the time right so resources I have used, this time I did it myself. It was self-study completely. Uh, I bought Thor Peterson YouTube, uh, so not YouTube, uh, videos on Udemy, um, and I went through them. Maybe some, of, some domains I went through twice. And then I bought some practical question, practical uh, tests from Thor Peterson, um, I did. Um, there were a number of other sources as well. Um, people say IC Square official, Alan Von Burke or Sean Harris um, or Kelly Anderhan videos, uh, Kevin Henry videos on Plural Site. Uh, I know Kevin Henry. Kevin Henry trained us at Five Brand. Great instructor. And I love um, the approach Kelly Anderhan takes as well. Uh, I ended up watching a few of her videos on Kerberos and you know inference, aggregation, and all that. Um, so depends on what kind of person you are. are you, do you like reading? Do you like watching videos? I'm the later. I like watching videos and learning stuff. So I, you know, I went for that approach. If you like reading, there are tons of books, as I said. Um, I did read 11th hour CISSP. So what happened was um, I did the studying more, going through the videos and practical tests um, during the lockdown. And then I couldn't find the dates to sit down for the exam because CISSP, you have to go in to an exam center. It's not online for some reason. So it's not remotely, remote proctored. Um, unlike um, CISM. Uh, so I couldn't find the date. October 23rd was my latest date I could find. So I booked it in Glasgow, three hours away from where I am. Um, and uh, that's so when I booked the exam, it was like four months away. So I, I for the next two months, I didn't do anything, 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 anything CISSP. So and then I, two months before the exam, I started picking up again, doing the practical tests and going through some books and stuff, blogs and YouTube videos and all that. Um, because of those two months, I didn't do anything. I almost, I, I thought like all, I lost all the knowledge, <laughs> everything I learned, but luckily I didn't. I, I still, um, you know, retained some. Um, so that, 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 that's what I've done in terms of studying. Thor Peterson, um, Eric Condor, 11th hour CISSP, Sunflower CISSP. I watched Rob Witcher um, videos on YouTube, mind map videos on YouTube. I watched or I listened to skill set CISSP videos on YouTube when I was running. Um, and uh, what else I did? Uh, Luke Ahmed's I have done. Um, Luke um, I haven't taken any course, but I, I, I joined Luke Ahmed's Facebook group in the last couple of weeks before the exam. I uh, started taking some uh, practice questions there. But the approach I have taken, right, so those are the resources I used, but the approach I have taken is, um, from my research, I realized either you do 60% study or 40% uh, practice questions or other way around, but I have taken 50-50, 50% studying or learning, 50% practice questions, 
right? So that's the, that's the thing. Practice questions are critical, crucial. I have known, I know people that has done the exam, passed the exam without taking the practice questions as well. But practice questions will uh, give you, get you in the mindset of the exam because this exam is brutal. Really, it's tough, it's challenging. So you have to read the question twice and the answers twice. Maybe you have to read three times, you don't know, right? Um, most of the times, whenever, whenever I was reading the question just once and trying to answer, I would answer wrong. And when I find, found out the answer, and I would be like, oh, come on, I should have read the question again, right? So that's what happens. Uh, that's why you do a number of practice questions, right? Um, practice questions, I have again used uh, Thor Peterson. I bought Udemy, um, there were about 1,000 practice questions. I went through all of them, um, and then chapter practice questions as well, so maybe 2,000 in total. And then I, 10 days or two weeks before the exam, I bought IC Square official practice questions, around 1,300 of them. And I was reading Eric Condard 11th hour CISS by the same time, one chapter, and then going to do one chapter practice questions on official IC Square uh, practice questions. So I was, <laughs> I was not doing great, 70, 75%, um, right? But I managed to finish that and then um, I did the mock, yeah, pa practice questions like all domains combined together. And there are about four practice questions each, 123 questions. Um, and I try, I, I did them. Um, I, I only managed to do three of them, but I scored around 75, 80, 82%. On average, I scored 79, let's say 80. Um, that was good. I'll tell you something. First, first practice question I have, a practice test I have done that contained 123, um, I thought I did really bad. Um, and I literally closed my eyes when I ended the exam. But when I opened my eyes, it was 81%. I was like, oh man, that gave me lots of confidence um, for the exam. There was lit this was literally four days before the exam. Uh, that gave me so much confidence and from that point onwards i just believed in myself i backed myself i i, I just told myself i can i can do this uh, i have I actually made a video every every day for lead up three days uh, lead up leading up to the exam um, you can watch the video i'll leave a link um, but yeah so that's that's what happened um do practice questions whatever the resources you, one thing I can tell you, I can't talk much about the, uh, what happened actually in the exam, but one thing I can tell you is um, the exam questions, you don't see them anywhere else. Nobody's practice questions compares or, or gets closer to uh, exam questions. That's the fact. Um, I did hear Sean Harris' practice questions or Luke Ahmed's practice questions are uh, a bit closer um, than uh, others. Uh, Tor's practice questions are good. Official IC, IC, IC square practice questions are really good. Uh, I absolutely recommend uh, going through them. I didn't do anybody else's. Uh, I did try Luke Ahmed's 10 free sample questions. I did try uh, Mike Chappell's 70 free questions on the Pocket Prep app. They changed the name now. Uh, but those are the practice question sources. Um, if you if you want to go, um, you know, pick your own one depending on. Uh, who, which style and who who you like, but absolutely do some. Um, <laughs> on the exam day, um, just well, day before the exam day, don't try to learn anything new, right? Just if you want to do, revise your notes, revise something, revise CIS, uh, Sunflower CIS, we are something else, do it, but don't try to learn anything new. Don't stress yourself. You had months and months to prepare for it and uh, last 24 hours not going to do any good for you. So uh, just take it easy. Um, um, I, ha I drove from Aberdeen to Glasgow night before. I had a good, good night's sleep, I thought. Um, but anyway, yeah, I slept for about eight hours. Um, I plan to do more. <laughs> um, on the exam day, turn up at the exam center at least half, on half an hour before, at least half an hour before, if not more, right? Um, they, there is a process, they, they will take like two forms ID, finger, uh, thumb prints and palm print and photo and all that. It takes 20 minutes uh, at least if there is no queue. So yeah, give yourself plenty of time, don't rush. Um, I went to exam, sen uh, exam center, well, I was in the car park around half 11. My exam was at one o'clock um, and then I, yeah, I stepped in. I probably sat down for my exam at half 12. Um, and when you sit down for the exam, 
First things first, you must, must, must straight away accept the NDA. Um, if you don't, your exam will be cancelled, you won't get the money back, and you probably don't find the dates for the next three months. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. I have heard stories that happen because people try to dump everything they have in their head on the notepad they got and forget about the NDA. NDA only lasts for five minutes on the, on the, on the screen. After five minutes, it's gone. It's, it's gone, exam is canceled. You can't do anything, right? So whatever you do, just when you sit down, accept the NDA and you can do whatever, right? Um, so that's what I did, accept the NDA. And I, I made a couple of notes on, on my notepad. Nothing, nothing technical, nothing about the um, material. I have, you know what I wrote? I wrote, trust your judgment. Think like a manager. Do 50 questions an hour. I like a couple of things I wrote. <laughs> like generic this things like that. because I have yeah take breaks um, I have to remind myself every time I look down like yeah you know I have to remind myself uh, because on the exam as I said um, you have to think like a manager right watch Kelly Handerhan's video at least a couple of times on the exam day or the day before the exam that will do so much good for you um, yeah I've watched tons of people's videos on YouTube how to do the CIS as big and all that but summary of all the videos are same. Think like, think like a manager. This is a management exam, not technical exam. You will see questions uh, and answers like, there is a, two or three answers, right? Um, but one of them may be technical. One of them, two of them are right for management, but you have to pick the best one, <laughs> right? So that's the challenge. This is a brutal exam. This is tough. Um, I'm sure you know. That's why you're watching this video, right? Um, but have a plan, um, schedule your exam, have a plan then execute it. Um, the resources and exam experience, as, as I said, yeah. Um, try to do 50 questions an hour on the exam. Um, that will give you a good, um, good, 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 good uh, time management. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. But um, at some point, well, 25 questions into the exam, I thought, man, I'm done. I failed. I, I don't know how to show my face to my wife or my daughter and my friends. Um, because it was just, oh my, it was crazy, 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 right, crazy. Um, yeah, at 70, I, I got up to 70 questions. I only had um, 70 minutes or 80 minutes left, something like that, or 75 minutes left. So when I got up to 70 questions, I thought I'm going to fail and the exam is going to give me 150 or 51 questions. So technically, I have another 80 questions to go. I only have 75 minutes or 80 minutes. Um, and I have to really ramp up my efforts here. Um, so from 80th question onwards, I was, I was just reading question only once and just selecting the answer, whichever I felt was right. Um, but at the, when I selected the 100th question answer and then click next, exam said, you, you know, your, your exam is finished. Go and uh, collect the report. Uh, and that time I thought, I did fail. Why would they stop at 100 questions? I did so bad, right? And then I was thinking everything. How should I show my face to my wife now? How can I tell her? Um, and then I went out, found out the answer. <laughs> I passed, am I literally crying? Uh, but <laughs> yeah, it's months of hard work. Um, but, you know, I posted a video uh, on, on LinkedIn if you find me on LinkedIn, J Enigu, or look for Tech Force, you'll find me. Uh, watch my video. But yeah, there you go. Um, I hope that helps. Um, in, in summary, bottom line is have a plan, execute it. Um, the resources, see which what type of person you are. Video, audio, text. You know, um, there are a number of uh, books. As I said, um, uh, do practice questions. Um, if you're not sure, if you're not confident in some areas, just try to do them more. Or even after doing like more and more, you can't, you can't do it well enough, just maybe leave it and move on. Um, you know, <laughs> um, you never know in the end uh, what's gonna happen in the exam. So that's, that's me, um, I hope that helps. Thank you very much. Good luck for your exam, thank you.